slightly longer video today because there's a bunch of stuff to go over. We're talking about Linden chocolate. So this is an experiment that seems to have originated from an 18th century chemist and my friend Ashlyn Morgan turned me on to this. A couple other people have talked about it, but she was definitely the first and has been researching this for over three years. So these are the seeds of the linden tree, the basswood tree, and what you can do is there's a few different ways you can harvest them. Here I'm just taking a blicky and I'm pulling the seeds off by hand. You want the seeds to be as big as possible. Some trees will vary in size. The other thing you can do is make what I call sidewalk chocolate. So you can gather them from your yard if you have a linden tree. Here I'm gathering them by hand. Uh, the biggest yield I got, uh, that, but was slightly imprecise, was actually using a clean dust pan and then washing the seeds. Uh, that, obviously, not everyone is going to be down for doing that, but hey, food comes off the ground all the time. I wanted to see if it would work, and it worked just fine. So any way you can get the seeds is fine. Then, depending on how you harvest them, if there's some debris in there, you can winnow them. This is the same thing I do with blueberries. I just take the seeds and I drop them from an, one bowl into another bowl. You can see all the leaves and crap are just flying right out when I drop it in front of the fan right there. So that's a good trick that I use for all kinds of things. Like I said, uh, blueberries, choke cherries works very well. There you can see my finished seeds. Now we're going to wash them. Just immerse them in some water and get off any extra stuff that may be clinging to them. They dry really fast. Pretty self-explanatory. Then we're going to take the green seeds and we're going to roast them for a reasonably long time. I'm going to do about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half at 325. You could probably get away with 350 for about 45 minutes. Just put those in the oven and forget about them for a little while until they're nice and brown. Now with these, you can see there's still some, it's hard to see, but you can see there's still some stems that are left on the seeds here. I'll show you here. And there was a, there was a decent amount of stems and we don't want that in the chocolate. So what we're going to do is we're just going to winnow them again. But you can see if I kind of crumble them there, there's all these little brown stems uh, are kind of, they're kind of brittle and a little sharp. So we're just going to winnow those again. This may not be necessary depending on your seeds. Uh, some of them that I picked directly from the tree did not have as much of the stem attached. So just a quick winnow again just takes care of that pretty easily. Now getting onto the recipe, we're just going to put the linden seeds into a spice grinder and we're just going to grind that up and then we put it through a sifter so i like to use a tammy sieve for this you can use really whatever you want i may grind them one or two times just to get extra pieces but this is going to make sure that the texture is nice and even so we'll just keep going grinding the seeds until they're all ground up and sifted now when we have the finished flour or powder, we're going to mix that with some sugar and some butter. I added about double the butter and sugar that you see here and just mash that together with a fork. Uh, most people that have made this use oil. I prefer butter because it's going to make something that's more easy to uh, handle and cook with so it's not liquid and it kind of looks like chocolate paste. You want something that kind of looks like Play-Doh there. And once it chills, it's going to kind of firm up and it's really easy to portion and work with. And the butter makes it so it'll just melt into whatever you put it in. Now, what I suggest you make, Linden chocolate pot de creme is not going to taste like chocolate. It's going to taste like, well, if you've ever had coffee made from Kentucky coffee beans, which I'll put a link to that in the video description, it's going to taste similar to that. It's basically like peanut buttery with a note of mocha. Just a basic example of what you can do. So first I'm gonna take that Linden chocolate. I'm gonna use about two to three ounces. 
and I'm going to add some maple syrup. We're just going to heat all of that together, a little pinch of salt, a little bit of my wild vanilla extract, a tiny, tiny pinch of cinnamon, or a knife tip, as some old recipes would describe it as. There's our Linden chocolate. And we're just going to whisk everything together until it's all mixed and tastes really good. Now we're going to blend it up, put it into the blender. I love the Vitamix and we're going to add some whole egg yolks and then we're going to buzz, buzz, buzz. I love seeing the inside of the Vitamix. Make sure that's all pureed up. Give it a taste, adjust the seasoning if you need. Then we're going to strain that through a chinois. You don't necessarily have to do that, but uh, I really recommend straining it. There's The texture of the seeds is kind of like vanilla bean, but I don't want like tons and tons of it in there. It's not offensive at all. It's just kind of a personal preference, but definitely recommend straining it. We're going to put those into little four-ounce uh, custard dishes or small mason jars and put those into a shallow pan with a towel to make it so they don't move around. And then we're going to put hot water into that. And then we're going to bake it for about 35 to 40 minutes. And this is a secret here. I'm going to tap these jars. Look at how the custard wiggles. This is exactly how they should look. This is a secret to cooking custards. They should still wiggle a little bit. They shouldn't be like liquid or juicy. Okay, the big question. What does it taste like? It's a really interesting flavor. It's not like chocolate. Mm, there it is. It's like, it's a little bit like peanut butter. Like it's got like peanut butter notes to it. The same way, it's almost identical to if I make, if I made the same thing from roasted ripe Kentucky coffee beans, which kind of makes sense as they're both tree seeds. But there's notes, it's like a nutty peanut buttery note but it also has notes of mocha, like a little bit of chocolate crossed with coffee. Yeah, definitely like mild peanut butter with notes of mocha. And there's a texture in the seeds that's almost like vanilla bean. It's really nice. Uh, it gets soft as it's cooked in the liquid, but yeah, a texture almost similar to vanilla bean. This is really good with very fat soluble, very dairy soluble. Anything like that you use it with, you will be okay. Really an interesting, interesting flavor. And you could make it stronger too. I hope you learned a little bit about the linden tree today and got excited to try the chocolate. I've embedded my friend Ashlyn's videos in the web post linked at the top of the video description. She has done a lot more research and really goes in depth onto the history of this. So I would definitely watch her videos too. And there's the proportions for the linden seed chocolate itself and the pot de creme in the blog post. Thanks for watching.